if you want to buy a tax deed, you better listen up because you got to know the difference between what a lien is and what a deed is. And in this video, I'm going to share with you the pros and the cons of both. Now, a tax lien has been around for over 200 years. It's almost, I would say, one of the oldest investment vehicles in the United States when it comes to real estate. And there's a purpose for that. The biggest purpose is that if somebody doesn't pay their fiscal responsibility, meaning their taxes on their property, they go into a delinquent status. Now, that delinquency doesn't mean that they're losing the property right away. It actually means that someone can come in and help them cover the cost of that delinquent tax bill so that they could still keep the property in their name until they do have the money to pay some of the taxes back. Now, this isn't how it works in every county, and you have to be very aware of your county's requirements when it comes to tax liens. But in simple terms, this is how it works. In most counties, if you are the homeowner and you forget or haven't paid, unfortunately, your taxes for at least two years, you will go into delinquency. Now, up to that two year period, the county is sending you notices and they're saying, hey, you gotta pay your taxes. If you don't pay your taxes, we're gonna issue a tax lien certificate. Now, what does a tax lien certificate actually mean? What certificate are they issuing? Who are they issuing it to? Well, what they're doing is they're taking your overdue taxes for those two years. And if you haven't responded and paid your taxes back, they're gonna take those overdue taxes. They're gonna bundle them up into this one payment so somebody or some company can come in, pay your taxes off and inherit a lien that gets placed against your property. Now that lien is really important because what it's doing is it's giving this business or this individual that paid those taxes the right to have a claim against that deed in the event that you continue not paying your taxes. So. You have two years from the date that you have your overdue taxes to pay back your taxes. If not, then you will go into a tax lien certificate. That tax lien certificate gets issued to the public and the way that someone comes in and buys that tax lien certificate is through what's called a bid down auction. Now, a bid down auction is, sounds complicated, but it's actually pretty simple. An auctioneer will bring your taxes to an auction and will say, hey, these are overdue. This property is in delinquent status. So who's interested in buying this tax certificate? This person owes $20,000 in taxes. So they need to pay those taxes back. If somebody comes in and pays these taxes, we'll give you a lien certificate that allows you to have a claim against this deed. That means that if the owner pays back the taxes over the next two years, you'll not only get back your money that you paid for that lien certificate, but you'll also get a penalty reward. Now the penalty is on the previous owner or the delinquent owner. And the reward is for that person or company that paid for that certificate. Typically in this bid down process, it goes to the lowest interest rate holder possible. So what that means is they'll start off at 25% and then they'll start bidding down the interest rate until finally somebody decides, hey, I'm still motivated even at 12% or at 11% or at 10%. Now at let's say 10%, they receive an issued tax lien certificate. This tax lien certificate now has two years for this previous owner that's in delinquency to redeem their taxes and get issued back the clearance of that lien. What that means in simple terms is that previous owner or the delinquent owner needs to pay their taxes back. And if they pay the taxes back to the county, the county will pay the lien certificate holder. The lien certificate holder will get their money back plus that penalty, which is basically an interest payment. And they can walk away and move on to another deal while the homeowner gets to keep their property and it's in good standings. So this is how a tax lien certificate works. It's a really simple process. A lien holder gets guaranteed money back to them and they get a payment as an interest in return. The owner, which was the delinquent taxpayer, 
pays back the taxes, gets a technically an extension on how long they can pay the taxes back for because somebody funded the tax bill for them. And ultimately, now they get their property back in good standings, they cleared their debt, and they get to keep their property. In a nutshell, that's how a tax lien certificate works. It's actually one of the safest investments over the last 200 years when it comes to real estate in the United States. And technically, it's also considered a passive income investment. Let's move on to a tax deed because a tax deed is actually a little bit more complex, but it's also really awesome, I would say. It's very awesome because anybody who buys a tax deed is getting a property for themselves. So this is how it works. So after that two year period, from when the date the tax lien certificate was issued, there's two years that go by and it's called the redemption period. This two years that passes, if that tax delinquent owner does not pay back those four years of taxes now, because two years when the issuance of the tax lien and then the next two years after the tax lien has been issued for it to go into auction, if they haven't paid four years of their taxes, then that gets confiscated. So the deed will now get issued as a tax deed and the warranty deed that that owner holds technically is no longer a deed that is valid. So what happens is the previous owner that now became a defaulted owner is now forced out of the property or if they have tenants inside the property, they are removed by the sheriff. The county is who issues the removal of the occupants of that property, let's just say. So once the county removes those that are inside the property and the county also notifies any lenders that have lent money against that property. So let's say there's an outstanding mortgage. That's great. But when the tax deed gets issued, there is no longer a mortgage associated with that property. So as a lender, it's actually very risky because once you give money to someone, if they do not pay or escrow their taxes in their monthly payments and they default on their tax payments, technically, they could also be defaulting on your loan because the county can take back possession of the property. And once they do that, there's a default on the mortgage because the county has the power to go and request the mortgage to be removed off of the property as collateral. Yes, you are buying a property through a tax deed auction with no mortgage. That's a huge benefit because that means that you're getting a property free and clear for the cost of just the overdue taxes. Now, in the auction, one thing to be aware of is that that auction does a bid up process, meaning that when you bid on the property, somebody will bid and then others will bid after and it'll bid until you finally decide who's the winner. That's okay. You just have to make sure, and this is my rule of thumb, never to pay more than 40% under the median or under the market rate value for that property. So I wanna pay, if it's $100,000, I wouldn't pay more than $60,000 towards the ownership of that property. If the taxes were $20,000, I could still go all the way up to $60,000 because that's my margin. 40% lower than the market value of that property. Because once I buy it at 60,000, I have immediate 40% of equity in the deal, which gives me the benefit of being able to cash out refinance or mortgage my property and still have equity without putting additional proceeds into the deal cash itself. So let's go back again to the tax deed and learn a little bit more about it. The tax deed, once you pass the redemption period and it goes into the auction, that auction is going to do that bid up auction process. And if you come in and buy it, you're going to get issued a quit claim deed. Now, this quit claim deed is basically the county saying, you're the winner, give us the money, and we're going to give you the deed for this property. So they issue you a quit claim deed. It gets transferred to your name. And now you have a property. This is yours. It's free and clear of any debt. It's also free and clear of any occupants in the property. So that's amazing. Now here's the cons that you have to be aware of when it comes to a tax deed. Well, number one is the tax deed is 
a tax deed. So it's not a warranty deed, which means that it could have violations or liens from the county. If it does have that, then you have to clear those liens and those violations prior to doing anything with the property that you want to do. So if you wanted to sell it or flip it, if you wanted to refinance it or mortgage it, you can't really do any of those things until you clear those violations, get a clear title, and then ultimately get reissued a warranty deed, which kind of goes to the second thing. You need a warranty deed. So a tax deed is great. You have the ownership of the property. It is your property, but you have to go through something called a quiet title transfer. And this quiet title transfer, what they do is over a three, six, 12 month period, depending upon what the terms are for that county, you have to wait and apply to remove the tax deed and reissue a new warranty deed and void the previous warranty deed that the previous defaulted owner had in their possession. That could take a while. It could take six months and it could cost some money, typically cost anywhere between five to $15,000. So you have to budget for that because there's an attorney that will have to do that work for you. You won't be able to do that on your own. You will need legal help in order to do this. So number one is, of course, you have that risk that when you buy this property, you have, of course, a tax deed. And then number two is you have violations. So these are really important things. Number three is that technically, since if you keep it as a tax deed and you don't quiet title transfer to a warranty deed, the previous owner could technically go and hire an attorney and try to go after the property, even though it's been sold in an auction, they could still try to go after the property for some form of equity because you're holding a tax deed. And they can say, well, I have a warranty deed and you have a tax deed and my warranty deed supersedes your tax deed. Now, most cases like this, they don't win in court because there's a delinquency and then they defaulted. And so the county has a lot of proof around this and it's very difficult for them to argue. So this normally doesn't happen, but it could. They have, when you own a tax deed, up to 20 years to claim a right of some possession or percentage in the property that you bought. So that's why most people, when they buy a tax deed, they quiet title transfer as fast as possible to get out of the tax deed status and into a warranty deed quickly. So the differences between a tax deed and a warranty deed are actually pretty simple. The tax deed is a quiet title transfer required deed that you get through a quick claim deed, but you inherit potential risk that it has violations or code enforcement issues, municipal liens, or it has federal liens. That's the big caveat to the tax deed. A warranty deed is obviously something that is clear of title issues. It has no violations. It has no problems. You ran a title search on it and you inherited a property or bought a property that ultimately is clear of any issues. You can sleep well at night. So you need to make sure you transfer the title from a tax deed into a warranty deed as quickly as possible. Now, the differences between a tax deed and a tax lien, again, are significant. The tax lien allows you to invest in a lien against a title or a deed, and then ultimately get paid back plus interest. That's purely what it's for. You don't get to own the property. You have no rights to the property. You're basically just putting a lien against the property or a violation against the property, and then they're paying you back plus interest. That's why it's such a safe investment because all it is is pay me back later and I'll get a little bit of cash on top of that, a 10%, 15%, 20% return. It could take up to two years, mind you, to get paid back. So just keep in mind the opportunity cost of putting that money into a tax lien. And then on the opposite side, a tax deed is you actually getting to keep the property, own the property, inherit or benefit from that property's cash flow. You can rent it, you can quiet title transfer it and then put a warranty deed on it and then ultimately sell it or refinance it or mortgage it. You can live in it. There's so many benefits from a tax deed perspective that you get by being the owner of the property but you have to be aware of the risks. I have a couple of other videos that can help you understand more about tax deeds, more about warranty deeds, and more about real estate. So if you're interested, go take a look at some of these videos, and I hope that you subscribe so you can learn more about real estate on my channel. I'll see you soon.